Okay, so today we have our Ranger up on the dyno and we're taking some baseline numbers and we wanna give you an overview of what we have planned for the truck. So as like any other truck enthusiast, we wanna do some modifications to the platform. We know we're gonna lose a little bit of power and torque once we do these modifications and we wanna make product that's gonna bring that power level back up. So what we have in store, bigger wheels and tires. So we have some KMC wheels with a Dick Seepik 28570. Uh, to get that on the truck, we have to do a suspension lift. So we got a BDS suspension lift that we're gonna put on the truck. And we have a host of other things that we wanna add to get that power level back to where it should be. And even to make more once this big heavy wheel and tire goes on the vehicle. It is powered by a 2.3 liter four cylinder that's hooked to a 10 speed transmission. So it is a truck, it has a 7,500 towing capacity. Um, we don't want to take away too much power and we definitely want to bring it back to a usable level with all the modifications. So we have some supplementary things to help that out. One's turbo smart blow off valve. That's going to help keep all the boost in the pipe. We have a BDX tuner, which is going to be able to tune our setup. And as we make product for the platform, we'll be able to put specific tunes for whatever product we're putting on the vehicle that we manufacture in house. We also have a Baja Designs LED fog light and grill kit. We want to make sure that the airflow is not going to be restricted to the coolers that we plan to make for the platform. So it's important for us to test that even though it's not a performance modification. So now we are at the point where we need to strap the truck down to the dyno and get some baseline numbers to see exactly where we're at. So with the 2.3 EcoBoost four-cylinder Ranger, the advertised horsepower is 270 and the foot-pounds of torque is 310. This is what we got to the wheels. This is the real numbers. So we made 248 horsepower and 264 foot-pounds of torque. You can see the boost comes in, comes in pretty hard, hits its target, and then kind of lays over. Power is very linear, climbs about 5,500, and just drops off. Same with the torque. Nice flat torque curve, gets about 5,500, just dives down here up to the red line. So we plan on improving on the stock power and torque, and we still plan on improving when we put our modifications on, like our wheels and tires and our lift kit. We know we're gonna lose a little bit, so we're gonna do a stock run with the wheels and tires on and see where we're at, and then start making our components and tuning the truck and see where we're gonna be. So stay tuned and follow our path of modifications that we continue to develop on our Ranger build.